Welcome, Love Relationships for Libra. I am Tarot Heifer 11, and this is a 10 card spread with hidden emotion, what they want and what to look out for. So the topic this week has been, life is short, so should you take a shortcut? Is there the right person for you? Maybe you're doing the right thing, but with the wrong person. Are you doing the wrong thing with the right person here, I guess? <laughs> And then you just need to remember rule number one, trying to change them is a waste of time. This is a time-tested pattern, so let's just relax and let's get some guidance for Libra. Remember to take what resonates and, yeah, leave the rest behind, please. Currently, the Wheel of Fortune, we are, you are, they are, what they want, what you should do, what you should do, and why. Here's going to be what to look out for. Ooh, the lovers. Nice. Positive vibe. And why? The six of wands. Sweetness. And then our tenth card. I'm going to put that over there. You're going to want to watch the entire reading. Stick around until the end. This card might have the information that we're looking for today. How this could possibly turn out. Awesome. Okay, cool. I guess I could be nice and put that more in view. Huh? <laughs> Hope everybody's doing okay. Currently, the Wheel of Fortune. Did you hit an emotion? Somebody is renegotiating here. I see a renegotiation. Uh, having a negotiation with someone in our life. Uh, there is something going on. It no longer meets Libra's needs. Um, trying to have an open discussion. There's a possibility that it no longer meets this other person's needs. And then they want to have an open conversation. Uh, I also see uh, someone, if you're in an established relationship, um, you're this is kind of this on and off again thing. And maybe you're, you're open to a change in the relationship. You, both of you, mutually or one of you. Um, if you're looking for love and you're single... And so your luck is turning around. Yes, you're meeting more suitable partners. Maybe somebody's opening themselves up to these new experiences, you know, and just letting fate take you in a new direction. Probably looking good. Awesome. Here we see a Libra who is very childlike, youthful, generous. It's a very innocent about you and the single ones, you guys, it's like getting to come back with this past lover. Okay, cool. Somebody from your childhood, even, right? And somebody's thinking about a previous relationship or something like that, having some feelings. And if you're currently broken up with your partner, the Six of Cups shows that you are um, just thinking about that past relationship, right? And then we see the other person and on some tower. We've had an event. Um, someone who is in a rut. You know, they're very oppressed. And having to accept this inevitable change. Real tough. So they want the Knight of Swords, but in reverse. Yeah, they want to. They do. They want to talk this out. This, they want to. They want to argue or dispute this. There is someone here in Libra's life who wants to dispute the issue. And if it's about love, they want to talk about this. They want to talk about the future. And that's how that's rolling for a lot of you. Just be careful that you're not rushing yourself because this is a fairly rushed energy. It's the swords, but see how there's fire, passion, very passionate in disputing this. Doesn't look like you are in dispute mode as much as they are. So let me know down below in the comment box below on this video, guys, which direction that's going in. 
the moral of the story and what you should do, what else you should do, why, what to look out for and why, and how this could end, is that we can do this the hard way or we can do this the easy way, right? And it's always been your choice. We have the Three of Cups, a very friendly what you should do, yes. We know you're going to date whoever you want. Libra, you're going to do whatever you really want because you have this great aura, this good thing going on right now, do you not? Like looking at the big picture. I mean, it's like, but no matter how smart you are and how spot on you are about this person, how much we think we know, how much time we've spent as friends and feelings, you know, we might still just stick around even though this person says things that we don't like. Dispute. Uh-huh. We can accept because you're desperately clinging to someone's validation. Here we have the five of wands. This is the reason why we should accept this change. Don't rush into it. Nobody should rush into anything, you know. And what else we should do? What else should we do? I'm, I think I'm going to clarify this one when I clarify first. Make any coming to any conclusions, you know. Don't jump to conclusions in their dispute. This isn't over. Don't jump to these conclusions. It's probably some energy is what's going to be coming at you. Yeah. And the reason why dispute <laughs> somebody is trying to trick you. Spirit says, slow down. Somebody trying to trick you into looking out, you know, to think in how the same way they want you to think like they think. You see what I'm saying? And so, like, you are, everybody is unique. So that's not even possible. Duh. Rule number one. They try and change you. You can't try to change nobody. It's time test pattern. But look out in February 2023. I'm sorry I didn't say where what, what this is. February, I'll, I'll, it's obviously going to be marked on... Okay, so I'm getting a rush of energy, a lot of energy coming in. Uh, we have harmony and confidence. Look out for a new emotional freedom, allowing Libra to enjoy love, beauty, perfection, harmony, and friendship. So we absolutely have coming in this beautiful love and friendship. Awesome. Why? It's all because it's just all good. Somebody got some good news. You're going to get some good news. This is why. And uh, having, keeping the hope, you know, alive and having Libra's hopes and desires will be fulfilled. And you're, it's just, you know, your efforts are being rewarded. Look out for that. We refer to the Astro Twins Love Zodiac Book of the Month I'm doing for everybody. It's what you will see in them and what they will see in you. Why does we have, you know, here we have the, this. So, so what's going to happen though? You know, how is it it's a burn and burn so hot? You know, the brightest star burns out the fastest here. Beware in that. Um, I'm not going to try to be negative. I'm, you know, let's clarify, but, oh, wow. I mean, I'm like, that could just be somebody surrendering their pride in the most positive way, the star in reverse, having surrendered our pride in being able to connect. Okay. We also have someone here who is trying to get you. So, what's the hidden emotion? Ooh, raw. 
Is that the king or the queen? Okay, so the queen of swords in reverse. Hidden emotion says somebody's thinking, you fucking bitch. Right? Somebody else thinking, you don't have a heart. I mean, if this is a business deal and you're still watching, again, let me know down below. Very strong-willed. I do what I want. I know what I want. Somebody's saying somebody else is just doing what you want. We always got to do what you want. Swallow that pride. Hurry up and come back to me. Okay? But... For those of you who are single and these hidden emotions, whoever this this is, yes, they're trying to manifest the magician, and that could be you. That's fine if you're thinking about somebody like that. Absolutely. Okay, we need to clarify. And again, that uh, boy, I'll tell you what. I don't want to go too deep on them, but that tower in reverse, and you're done with somebody. You know who they are. Let's see what they want in that. Why is the Knight of Swords? Because it, it was in reverse, right? That dispute. Disunion. You know, like, not coming together. They want you to only start what you can finish. Like, we need to finish this. This isn't over yet. What kind of a deal we got going on? All right. Yes, the Two of Swords. Boom. The Knight of Cups. Romance. Feelings. A player. Um, you know, with lack of self-confidence. This, this energy of dropping, letting down your guard. You know, to decide to oh yeah that's what I'm getting out of that so this is what they want um, quit resisting the change here let's be friends let's get together you should hang out and have drinks and you know just that whole emotional friendship so if you're good if you're down with that and that's good Absolutely. I, I just want to know, regardless of the journey that you're on, guys, I really do. I really do. I'm feeling this. We're right. It's very passionate. Um, I see us letting down. You know, it's, it's, an, it's, it can be very positive. In surrendering our stubbornness and our pride or this person, you know, and we are having that in a positive way. Oh, I hope. I just want to manifest that. Because knowledge is power. So just, I want you to go magnetize the perfect person for you. <laughs> yeah, let's clarify the lovers and what we should look out for. Okay, why is the lovers here? probably a good time for you guys to hit that like button. If you want to be a member, just hit the subscription button. Spirit, fill in for some Libra, this positive lovers coming in. Oh, there's that magician. Not being able to manifest that. Uh, look out for somebody trying to, right? We saw that in the hidden emotion. Look, the hid expect our hidden emotions to actually come out on the table. Thank you, Spirit. Love it. Showing us the secrets. My very best friends. Oh, um, yeah. You know, it's like everybody's got skeletons in their closet. And, you know, digging down deep, someone wants you to, uh, going to come to, you know, like, we think an awful lot alike. We think an awful lot alike. So, if you are dealing with, with a masculine sign, fire and air. We have that water. Let's just say if you are with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, we have strength, we have the tower, and dynamic, and that passion, right? 
coming in. Very gallant knight of the zodiac, forever in motion or fighting for a cause. Even when this person is just sitting around, they're learning, they're reading, they want you to learn, you know, and just from them. And um, we have something as someone who has caused great destruction, right? And so this fire burns out quickly without fuel to keep it going. It can also regenerate its own power, though, right? And digging down deep, and that's why our efforts are being rewarded. A single spark can set off this forest fire in passion and feelings and friendship and romance. So, yeah, you know, this fire sign, these fires, they need to be managed very carefully, lest they burn out of control. And so, what we can best value, Libra, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or, you know, we have Aries, we have, you know, whoever, being very adventurous, this is if this will help you in your connections and those passionate affairs and your ambitious types who want to take over the world together with you, right? There will be lots of action, a warm-blooded, warm-hearted companion. Very sexual, emotional expressiveness, and even outspoken people who say what they think. And we had it, you know, with some hidden emotions there, but memorable fights, even more memorable makeup sex, though. Somebody wanted that there as well. If you that's astrologically out of the book. But if you're dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. It's like a cool wind or an occasional tornado. Air signs are always in motion, keeping you into a bluster of ideas. What to look out for. See what I'm saying? So now I'm getting all these ideas. It's quite blustering with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. All right, guys. So this is a very intellectual and rational air sign and are far more to emotional outpourings. You know, don't expect them. They're not very emotional. They're actually, they're kind of judgmental. So don't expect that. And their tantrums can be very memorable. Again, you know, we have someone here, we, you know, fighting for this. Um, this is someone we remember in that we will... Even though they're being nice, you know, so now expect somebody, this lover to be, because, you know, it was hidden emotion was they were in reverse, cold hearted, yada, yada, and now coming out being nice. We remember those fights. Somebody digging that up. Gifted at communication. These are the Zodiac messengers carrying news, ideas, and gossip to the masses. Air signs. People will make excellent playmates. They're great if you are into a lot of activity. Yes. All right. So... Why is the star in reverse as we move the middle of February 2023? It's very interesting what's going on around here today, people. The star is here because of... Okay, so someone is going to maybe get sick. Okay, so look out for the flu. All right, look out for someone not feeling well at all. I'm just going to say that because I know it's going to happen, and I'm sorry. We have the... Boy, that's just bubbling below the surface. And I think it's already going to pop. So, if we have a really bad negative turn of events to where this kind of just blows up in someone's face, burning hot burning hot and hasty and fast um, could, could result in a negative outcome. So we really need to slow down Libra for your own benefit, let alone them. Look out for that because we have the five of swords. Oh my gosh. And these great conversations and exchange of ideas. This is very unconventional this relationship, this on again, off again, okay? And it's about somebody retaining their independence, 
okay, or not being able to, however that rolls, it's about your space for this other person. It's about your space, my space, maybe with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, you guys. So keeping things light, flirty, and fun can help. And, you know, this is very open to interpretation and the feminine signs of water and earth. We have judgment. You know, we see a lot of that in pictorial here. Tarot wise, you know, if it's a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, and let's see, this is uh, probably the latter. <laughs> Very sensitive person. Um, they can be as deep and mysterious as the ocean. Right? And then, when things aren't bad, the sun, look, it's all dried up, right? Burn out. They notice everything, though. This is the water sign person's tendency to be oversensitive can set them adrift on a sea of self-absorption. Okay? And so, at times, you know, you just have to be careful not to drown in their depths or be pulled into a needy undertone which we saw there so security is important to them and you as well after all but water signs need a container to put that in or it dries up bada bing bada boom or it disappears so these signs often have intense dreams and borderline psychic intuition and it's best if you value emotional exploration. People who work with healing arts, uh, security and comfort, but a little edgy on the mystery. It's very mysterious. We have to value that if we want to continue with this connection in a positive way. In February, playing, you know, a very nurturing role, Libra. We have someone here who is, a, they're not afraid to cry. Someone who maybe has been afraid to cry. Yeah. It's just that, uh, just the two of us. Kind of intimacy here. Working your issues out together. And anything domestic. Working that out. And This is also a person who might be willing to stay at home. You know, and do everything so. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, I don't think you are. Let me know down in the description box below. And we'll touch more topic there. But in the meantime, these are the things we can look out for as we move forward. I can't wait to see how your guys' energy changes. And good luck. Until next time, Shalom.